let us start our discussion. Discussion is on history. Uh, one of the very beautiful test I have seen so far. Okay. Uh, so, coming to the test, the first one is <coughs> the first question coming to the test, okay, history test, which has modern India, ancient India, medieval India, art and culture, okay. Uh, but here priority given to modern India, lots of questions being asked from modern India because as usual every year in UPC prelims examination from history majority you know that weightage goes to modern India, lots of questions being asked from modern India. If 18 questions or 20 questions are there from history, around 10 or 8 to 10 questions are from modern India, okay, rest is divided among ancient uh, medieval art and culture etc. So, always take care, modern India cover very well, then ancient India, then medieval India, then art and culture, okay. Now, the first question is, with reference to British expansionist activities in India, consider the following events. So, that is a very beautiful question UPC asks, which is chronology, am I right? Chronology is a very interesting area for many of you guys, especially uh, this uh, Manu feels, uh, you know, like he gets a Nirvana whenever he gets a chronology questions. Chronology questions are very interesting questions and one of the most difficult questions, you know. So, coming to this chronology, what is the, what is the strategy for chronology questions? You prepare a chart of events here. Yeah? I would suggest to you, you prepare a chart of events or you prepare, prepare a chart of timeline, timeline of events, what kind of the events, modern India, popular battles are there, okay, a timeline of battles, modern India battles, timeline of the treaties, various treaties are there, am I right, am I right, yes, timeline of various like uh, reforms, timeline of reforms or timeline of this, uh, what is called uh, like uh, various acts, constitutional acts being passed okay this is the way this is the way you can prepare the chart of each event or these like uh, various battles various treaties various reforms or legislative reforms constitutional reforms educational reforms okay just prepare the chart of such events of modern india and prepare that is one of the solution uh, you can score in this chronology type of questions and chronology you must know again i would suggest you story mode Okay, you connect modern India with that uh, like a triple R or Bahubali or something movie. Just in a story mode you approach the events of the history. Once upon a time there was a man called uh, Robert Clive, okay, a clerk at this uh, British East India Company office and uh, you just uh, focus on his uh, tactics, his tricks or maybe what all, what all things he played in order to like uh, elevate the British East India Company into an imperial power, what all things he done. So, similar way, you prepare stories on various events, various events of modern India, okay. The colonial role or these Indian responses to British uh, reforms or 1857 revolt or this freedom struggle, moderate, uh, extremist, revolutionary and this Gandhian phase, okay. So, make it into stories or you can, you can, you can prepare some poems. If you are a poet, you can prepare it into poems or if you are a script writer, make it into script, okay. You do it accordingly, history will be interesting for you. So, first Anglo-Afghan war, first Anglo-Burmese war, takeover of Sindh, takeover of Sambalpur and Bhagat. You, you know that this Sambalpur, Satra or this Jansi, etc. annexed by one of the guy who said that your, your adopted son cannot be the next ruler if your adoption is not accepted by the British East India Company. What was that guy? Who was that guy? Dalhousie. So, there is British annexed Indian states on various methods. Yeah, there is territorial annexation, territorial annexation by this military congress. Okay, then there is policy of policy, you know, doctrine of labs is there. Then uh, policy of uh, ring fence is okay, that is uh, buffer zones. Or maybe there is another policy, what was that called? A subsidiary alliance policy. So, British, you know, through their tactics, diplomacy and through these uh, uh, military wars and all, they conquered Indian states. So, go for it. Annexation of Sambalpur, it is by applying this doctrine of, doctrine of labs. Okay, doctrine of labs. Uh, so, you know the timeline of these events. 
this uh, sambalpur annexation doctrine i mean dalhousie dalhousie and his uh, vice royalty or governorship uh, and uh, what all the reforms he undertook that is all happened in which year can you say approximately eh 1840s 50s am i right something related to that because dalhousie is very close to that 1857 revolt am i right most of his reforms are also responsible for 1857 revolt okay fine so take over of take over of this sambalpur that is in 1850 1850 then take over of sindh region 1843 because of that russian fear russia sent their embassies missions to afghanistan british east india company feared if russia annexed to sindh then they will come to india okay so annexation of sindh that is to protect the frontiers of the british empire am i right okay fine so sindh annexation which year 1843 Okay, then the first Anglo uh, Burmese war, twenty-four something that range, eighteen twenty-four twenty-eight range. Then this uh, Anglo Afghanis war, yeah, something thirty eighteen thirty-eight to forty-two range. So your chronology is, go for Bombay, two one three four two one three four. So what is my solution to you, yar? You prepare the charts of events, prepare the charts of modern India battles, treaties. wise roy is constitutional reforms legislative reforms social movements or the chart of these uh, freedom struggle movements okay all those charts you prepare timelines you prepare that will save you in chronology questions moving on to question number 2 which of the following indian leader is associated with the political doctrine of integral humanism he was the founding father of or maybe a great leader of this bharatiya janasangh foreigner of uh, bjp party you know so that uh, guy was what was his name yes din dayal ubatya okay uh, so uh, his his popular theory or political doctrine is called uh, uh, integral humanism integral humanism means this human being is at the center the human being is at the center human being you know that is at the core position of the socio economic Uh, or cultural religious life okay he is at the center human values are important and the individual ingredients are like you know what is that the in individual ingredients you talking about body mind intellect and the soul body mind intellect and the soul they corresponds with uh, some universal values what are those uh, universal values or objectives can you say dharma concept is there moral ethical values dharma concept is there artha is there artha means wealth kama is there that is the pleasures and all moksha is there so he says that the ingredients of individual is body mind soul and intellect body mind soul and intellect and these ingredients of the body or ingredients of individual corresponds with the universal objectives which is dharma artha kama moksha kind of concepts anyway just leave it he focuses on one thing that is that is harmony of the uh, human or harmony of man nature and the soul which is essential for achieving certain sdg goals like uh, you know fighting climate change and all or climate change issues and all goal number 13 okay so integral humanism that is din dayal ubatya so these philosophies are important you know ideologies of great leaders of this freedom struggle part or modern india part personality subhu is there subhash chandra bose okay so many great leaders are there their ideologies their philosophies upsc repeatedly asked in the examinations to so, say so take care of such of such things now coming to question number 3 the revolt of 1857 is regarded as the first rebellion against the british east india company which one of the following is uh, grey military course of revolt in 1857 now the problem with many of you guys is if you look into the options most of most of them are courses for 1857 revolt so you are your thought will change the problem is upsc is not asking about the courses they are asking about the military course so be very careful while reading the question here here they are asking about a military course indiscriminate assault on indians by englishmen became quite common that is a common cause that is a civil cause that is a that is a racial cause or a social cause okay 
A new plantation system introduced in the year 1833 resulted in incalculable misery for the Indian peasants, which is an agrarian cause or an economic cause. Now, doctrine of labs, particularly its practical application by Lord Dalhousie, produced grave discontent and alarm among native princes who are directly affected. It's a political cause. It's a political cause. They are asking about a military cause. Abolish the foreign allowances or butter when they served in foreign territories. That is one, that is one military cause. So be very careful. The causes can be socio-political, economic, cultural, intellectual, different causes. They are asking specifically for military cause. So be very careful about that. Okay, don't be generalized. Don't be, I mean, this generalization and specification. This thing you have to take care in CSAT and in your GS paper also. Now, the answer has to be Delhi. Moving on to question number four. Consider the following statements. Komagadamaru incident. Komagadamaru. Komagadamaru is an African elephant. Yes, it is a Japanese steamship. Chartered by? Chartered by? Amit Shah? Eh? Chartered by? Japanese steamship carrying 376 passengers from India and these Asian nations to Canada. Canadian migration. Uh, who was that guy who chartered this Japanese steamship? It was a honeymoon trip? No, what was it? Indians are suffering here. They heard Canada is offering you better opportunities, living conditions, salary and all. So carrying these passengers, most of them are from Punjab. Okay, 376 passengers moving to Canada. They said the Tata to their relatives and saying that after a few years we will back, we will be billionaires, millionaires, etc. But unfortunately, they were not given an opportunity to enter Canadian land. After two months' statements, they were forced to go back to uh, India without uh, any earnings, jobs or without even bread and butter, you see. And when they reached Bajja Bajja Harbour, they faced this uh, police firing and attacks, etc. Because they were treated as uh, suspicious, they treated as the revolutionaries of uh, one uh, revolutionary organization, etc. So this is Gurdit Singh, chartered this Komagadamaru Japanese steamship. And uh, uh, they attracted worldwide attention, condemnation for violation of human rights and racism. Yes, it is, it is violation of the human rights and it is an example of perfect racism. Okay, these people, because of the Asian exclusion, discriminatory laws, they were not allowed to enter Canadian land. They were asked to sit in the ship. You are one and two and all, all the things you do in the ship, after two months, go back to home. See? Human rights violation. Okay, later on you can see that very recently, every year on that very day, the Canadian Prime Minister say, uh, my apology to Indians for the event. So this incident, first statement is a general statement and that is true statement. Episode of father inspired the Berlin Brigade Party. This is the way UPC will trick you. There are many abroad foreign revolutionary organizations are there. But Komagadamaru incident is connected with one foreign revolutionary organization. What was that? That was... Gadar party, Gadar movement, okay, so it is not a Berlin Brigade party, it is Gadar party. The episode inspired a Gadar party to engage in its struggle against colonial rule. Your answer is one only, am I right? Am I right? Yes, A is your answer. Moving on to question number 5, consider the following statements about individual Satyagraha. What was individual Satyagraha? Individual Satyagraha? Started by Gandhiji. When he started, after fishing in this uh, like uh, holy river Ganga, he started individual satyagraha. I'm not getting any fish, so I will start individual satyagraha. Is that like that? The contest is important here. Contest. You must know the contest. Okay. When he started, why he started? Individual satyagraha. Adarsh, on what contest he started individual satyagraha? Any idea you have? It's after failure of Wavell plan, Cribs mission, cabinet mission. Which mission? Which mission? Which mission? Come on, tell me. It's a... Ah, yes. After failure of August offer. August... Offer. 
actually initially i put august offer then i felt uh, let me see how you are uh, this you know this uh, thinking works that's why instead of august offer i put a crips there now what is your answer gandhi ji was not satisfied with the crips mission it is not a crips mission failure of crips mission resulted in launch of kit india movement am i right and failure of august offer resulted in launch of individual satyagraha okay so that is august offer because august offer is nothing it's giving some kind of the kurkure and lays only is not purna swaraj nothing they are talking about a formation of an independent government nothing some kind of here and there something they are saying which is not okay for us okay so the failure of august offer failure of august offer that was the reason for individual launch of individual satyagraha ajaya vinobhave was the first to, uh, first to offer individual satyagraha and sentenced to 3 month imprisonment yes if you practice individual satyagraha british will not give you oscar award okay they will send you andaman nicobar islands okay whatever it is 3 months or 4 months doesn't matter now jawahala nehru was the second individual see upc is not that kind of a psycho two days or three days they will shift it to four days five days and they will confuse you sometimes sometimes jawahala nehru was the second individual satyagrahi imprisoned for four months this is also sometimes it will it will you know make you confused and it will make you psycho too am i right two months four months why they purposefully put a two months three months maybe it is you know it, it is to uh, like a, like a misguide you they are giving like but uh, unfortunately uh, two and three are correct only one is the not correct one your answer has to be two and three only